All right. Well, next up is some good news in case you were looking for an alternative to Google Analytics. There is a new tool, which is actually, it's really in addition to a previous tool that Cloudflare offered, and it is their free analytics tool, and it is focused on privacy. Cloudflare goes on to say that there are free analytics tools out there, but they come at a cost. Not money, but your users' privacy. Today, we're announcing a brand new privacy-first analytics service that's open to everyone, even if they're not already a Cloudflare customer. And this comes from John Levin, the product manager of data and analytics. And one thing John said was, Cloudflare's business has never been built around tracking users or selling advertising. We don't want to know what you do on the internet. It's not our business. And I like that because with all the, the social documentaries out there, it's good to know that Cloudflare is not like Instagram from Facebook that wants to watch me take a poop, you know? Like Jess, that was your quote, I believe you said last. last <laughs> it's week. not an exact quote, but yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, you're going to be able to see top host names, URLs, countries, and other critical metrics, um, including status codes, which is something you may not actually see in Google Analytics, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and as I said, you could have some limited analytics before, but this is a big expansion. One of the things that I loved the most was that you can drag to Zoom on a specific time frame. So if you're looking at your charts and graphs, you can just select a certain time and it locks right in on it. Google Analytics is better than Google Ads, but I still always have trouble for some reason getting the right time frames to, to, to match. And we've got some clients where we're always looking quarter over quarter and specific year over year. And it's, you can't just go year over year. You got to get that Monday and the Sunday to, to Saturdays and everything. So this is a really nice thing where you can see a problem and zoom in. Additionally, you can group by different dimensions. So there's a great GIF slash video that they've got there showing it in action. And it's something that you definitely want to check out. Another reason to consider it, even if you are happy with Google Analytics, is because Google Analytics, as we know, uses JavaScript and browser data. Um, and Cloudflare uses both edge data, so you know before it makes it back out to the browser, and they're trying to use browser data with this new version. So one of the problems with Google Analytics is if a page doesn't load, because it's a, let's say it's an error or it's forbidden and there's no Google Analytics on that page, you're not going to know it. So this is another reason to test this out if you want to, um, because it uses edge data to start and is trying to work on integrating more browser data. So if you are interested, head on over to marketingclock.com to see it in action. Like what you saw? Of course you did. If you're looking for more, Marketing and Clock releases new episodes every Friday with the digital marketing news of the week. You can subscribe wherever you consume your podcasts. Or click to watch the full episode, the next news story, or read all the articles from the show.